Hello and welcome back to our Revit Architecture uh, 2009 CAD clips on our custom architectural beam. Um, in this first lesson all we're going to do is uh, start our new beam family and um, put in some um, reference planes and create some parameters. So I'm going to start by saying file new family Okay, I'm just in a project file here and I'm going to use, um, you could probably go ahead uh, later once we get this and try doing this using a structural framing template family, but I'm going to just use a regular generic line based family to do this and I encourage you to do the same thing. Generic model line based is our template file and then I can hit OK. So then we can start off in our family editor using that particular um, template file. So I'm, I'm going to zoom in side of here and I'm going to start to create some parameters. So I'm going to go up here to family types and I'm going to make some parameters. Add a parameter. The first parameter I'm going to put in here is called beam material. Okay. Don't just write material, put beam material. I want to group that under um, materials and finishes. I want it to be an instance parameter and this is the key here. I want it to be a material type. That's it. That's all. Hit OK. There's our first parameter created. Okay. Next parameter. Adding in a parameter I'm going to call it beam width. Okay. It's going to be grouped under the dimensions when we look at our properties. It's instance specific, meaning I can change it on any one and the other ones won't update. And it's going to be a length parameter. Okay? Beam width. Done. Next one. Add a parameter. Beam um, depth from top to bottom. Okay? Group it under dimensions instance specific. I want to be able to change any one of the beams. Again, it is a length parameter. Okay, Hitting OK on that. And that all looks good, so I can hit Apply and hit OK. Now I'm going to add in some reference planes. Reference plane, draw a reference plane here and another reference plane there. We're uh, looking at the beam from the top down. Oops, that should have been straight. Um, clicking out. Can I fix that? I'm just going to delete it. Reference plane from here over to here. Okay, so this is will be the width of it. Okay, so I can add in a dimension now and say dimension from here to here. Don't pick that green line. Pick the reference plane there to there. Move that over to the side and there's a little equal button over here. Equals. Boom, keeps those so each side is going to be equal. Now I'm going to do another dimension from here to here. Place that one out over there. Done. Escape or click modify to stop it. Now I'm going to take that dimension of 10 inches and I'm going to go up to my label and say you are beam width. Done. Okay. Now I'm going to look from the front view of my family. Okay and I'm going to add in another reference plane. This is going to be the beam depth. Click on here, hitting escape and escape. Okay, dimension from, now I want a dimension from the reference plane. So I'm going to hit tab until I get the reference plane and then this reference plane, move that guy over. I don't need to do the equal thing because it's going to be from the top to the bottom. Okay, click modify to cancel that out. Grab that guy and say you are the beam depth clicking out. Okay, so I can go back to my family types and I can see beam width was 10 inches because it picked up that original dimension. Beam depth, one foot. Hit apply, hit OK. Okay, now watch, let's flex the model and see if this starts to work. Okay, let's just take this guy and move it over. If I go to my family types and I say, okay, I want to change the uh, beam depth from one foot to be two feet. I don't have to say feet. I just hit apply and it moves down and it brings that reference plane down. The reference planes will 
control the beam geometry once I model that in. So that seems to be working. I hit OK. Now I'm going to go to the top view. Okay, Maybe move this over to this side. Go back to my family types. Pull this over so I can see what's going on. And say the beam width is not 10 inches. It is, you know, let's just say 2 feet. Hit apply. Spreading it out and splitting it evenly. Okay, let's set it back to be one foot. Hit apply. Looks like it's controlling those reference planes and equally spacing it based on that line in the middle. That line in the middle is what's going to uh, be able to uh, allow you to stretch from grip from end to end that beam. Okay, I'm also going to change the beam depth back to be one foot. Hit apply. Hit OK. So it looks like my parameters are working for the width and, if I look from the front, for the depth. Okay, Make sure that your um, reference planes are being controlled and constrained by your um, parameters first. The material one we're, we're going to uh, use once we actually model the, um, the beam itself. So we can hit OK, and at this point we're going to uh, close off the lesson uh, with our reference planes and our um, parameters working properly.